Don Jr. has decided to exploit a tragic event on the set of the film Rust, where a cinematographer by the name of Helena Hutchins was accidentally shot and killed by a prop gun that Alec Baldwin was practicing on. Now, we'll give you updates on what happened on the set. There is a full investigation taking place. But what exactly did Don Jr. do? Well, he's been pitching his latest merchandise. This t-shirt that says, guns don't kill people, Alec Baldwin kills people. So tragic accident happens, totally innocent cinematographer lost her life as a result of that. But hey, why don't we turn this into a political issue? Why don't we needlessly, and by the way, and profit off of it? Because that's the point of selling the merchandise, right? To profit off of it. Don Jr. also posted this meme to his Instagram account because there's no telling how low he'll go. Let's all watch Alec Baldwin blame the gun. And there were other right wingers who jumped in. US Representative Lauren Boebert, a California Republican, Colorado Republican, cited a tweet of Baldwin's last year supporting Black Lives Matter protesters in which Baldwin said he was going to make t-shirts that read, my hands are up, please don't shoot me. Uh, Bobert apparently didn't like that, arguing Alec Baldwin, are those still available, asking for a movie producer. You know, she died. Did, did you, does anybody care? Are they, no, I mean, these, these people don't care. They don't. Everything's fun and games for them. I mean, we've seen how little they value human lives in the past. Why would be? Why would we be surprised at the way they're acting now? So. Put aside Alec Baldwin, I get it, you hate Alec Baldwin, I don't mind, I don't care about that at all. I don't know if he cares, you hate me, I don't care about that, let alone your hatred for Alec Baldwin. And by the way, I don't like you guys, I don't like Ted Nugent, I don't like all, any of those dumbasses. Ted Nugent, That's I haven't heard from Ted Nugent in a while. Yeah. Um, Which is nice. Yeah. Uh, he's probably dude, dude craps pants. Yeah, he's that's probably what he's cleaning up right now. His diapers. Anyway, uh, and you want to make fun like that, and you want to make fun of us like that? No problem, man. We don't care. I just look online. It's thousands of comments doing that. No problem. But what about the, the poor woman who died? Don't you have any sympathy? Like, ha let's make fun of her death. That'll be so funny. Ha ha ha. And look, I Alec Baldwin didn't load the gun. Everyone is saying yes. It was either the Person who handled this is a person called the armor on the set, right. or it might be the assistant director. But they're looking into it and let the cops do their jobs. But everyone agrees that Alec Baldwin didn't load the gun. And so, by the way, he's by all, according to the reporting, he, he can't, like he's a mess. He's and I'm sure they love that pain. God, he accidentally killed someone because someone else loaded it with a bullet. Imagine how distraught you would be. But they can't connect on a human level because they have no empathy. They're terrible people. So I do want to actually get to those details regarding what happened on set and who is looking not so great in regards to this case. So authorities have said that the assistant director, his name is David Halls, handed the weapon to Baldwin and announced cold gun, indicating that the weapon was safe to use, meaning it's not loaded with any live ammunition. It's not clear yet where the gun handling protocol failed. The movie's guns were usually checked by armor Hannah Gutierrez Reed, and then again by Halls. Now I want to note that Hannah Gutierrez Reed is 24 years old. She had stated in a podcast episode that she had some hesitation in regard to taking that job because she felt a little shaky about it. Probably not a good idea to take such a serious job if you feel shaky about it. But you know, the individuals who decided to hire her should also be looked into. But in regard to Halls, I want to give you more details on that. So, in an email statement to the Associated Press, a producer for the movie Freedom's Path confirmed that Halls was fired from the 2019 production after a crew member suffered a minor injury when a gun was unexpectedly discharged. The producer, who asked not to be identified by name, wrote that Hall's quote, was removed from the set immediately, end quote. Production did not resume until Hall's was gone. Jesus. 
So apparently there is a history with Halls and you know this is all the stuff that we're learning as this investigation is ongoing. And by the way, prop maker Maggie Goal said that she filed an internal complaint in 2019 over concerns about Halls' behavior on the set of Hulu's Into the Dark series. Goal said Halls discharged safety I'm sorry, disregarded safety protocols for weapons and pyrotechnics and tried to continue filming after the supervising pyrotechnician who was diabetic lost consciousness on set. Uh, in a deep irony or appropriate, unfortunately, the, the cinematographer who was killed had earlier complained about safety on the set. She was worried that it, the set wasn't safe enough. And unfortunately, she was very, very right. But guys, like, let the cops do the investigation in this case. This isn't political, they're trying to make it political. You don't know what the politics of the armor is or halls is or any of that. Just let them do the investigation. Let's not prejudge anything yet. And then hopefully they'll do a good investigation and you'll know what happened. And hopefully it's an accident. And and even so, obviously there's gotta be consequences for that kind of grotesque negligence. Uh, but we don't know yet, so let's let the, in a sense, the jury come in with actual evidence first, and then we'll figure out, you know, uh, what went wrong here. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get. Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.